You guys have probably heard all the hype right now with AI. AI is being used right now to create images, websites, and other UI designs. In this video, I'll take you from an AI complete beginner to a professional that can create some amazing AI images. Here are some images that we made using some really descriptive text. So we'll first start from the basics, and then we'll work our way up to the advanced methods. We also went ahead and created some templates and prompts for you guys that are really descriptive that can create some really amazing looking images for yourself or for your business. So before we begin, let's talk about what is Midjourney AI and how far can it take you? Midjourney is an AI powered system that creates images, UX UI interfaces, or anything you can think of using commands or prompts. On their website, they describe themselves as an independent research lab, exploring new mediums of thoughts, expanding the imaginative powers of people. In short, it creates AI generated images based off what you type. All these images are 100% unique that you can use virtually anywhere, including your website, blog, or even your Instagram. There's so many different ways on how you guys can use AI, and I'm just touching the surface here, but after this video, you guys are gonna have a better understanding of how to properly utilize all the AI commands and prompts to create some stunning images for yourself. You guys ready? Let's go ahead and get started. So this is the AI tool that we're using. It's called midjourney.com. This website can create pretty much anything using scripts. Now, all you need to do here is just go ahead and make an account, integrate your Discord, and then you're done. So I'll go ahead and click on sign in to give you guys an example. And this is my mid journey account. Now, whenever you guys actually create images from your discord, it'll automatically be synced up with your mid journey account and all your images will be propagated right here. Now in this video, we're going to go ahead and, and walk you guys through the very bare basics, right? So we're first just going to use, you know, just very basic text. And then after that, we're going to add in some description. And then after that, we're going to add in even more description to make your images really stand out. And as you guys can tell, uh, these images look amazing. We've also added images of myself here. And you know, right here, we're using a specific camera lens. Here, we're adding in like cartoon animations. And I even included my dog, right? We, we included Paddywhack, you know, and uh, it looks great. So uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and integrate this with our Discord. If you guys don't have Discord, you guys can go ahead and download it at discord.com. Once you guys do have Discord, I'll show you guys how to import the bots. Okay, and this is my Discord server. And once you guys make an account with Midjourney and you integrate your account, you will then see that you have access to the Midjourney uh, Discord channel. And a lot of the users actually wants to go ahead and type the commands here. However, you can drag the bot into your own server so you don't have to see everyone else's work and you, you don't have to scroll to find your, uh, you know, your work right here. So uh, on the right side, you're gonna see Midjourney bot. All you gotta do is click on this and add it to the server. And then you'll just go ahead and just simply go ahead and select the server. And then you'll go ahead and make a copy of that and you'll drag it into your server where you can go ahead and create the prompts there instead of using it on their server. So I already have this in my server and I'll go ahead and just go back to my server over here. At the top right, you're gonna see that we have the mid journey bots. Now, all we have to do here is we first need to uh, command the bot, right? And to command the bot, all we're gonna do is type in dash imagine. And then we're going to basically uh, add in something that we want to see, right? So let's just keep this very basic. I'm just gonna type in something like bonsai tree, all right? Bonsai tree. And what Midjourney is gonna do is they are now going to generate a bonsai tree using AI. And there we go. After you guys wait just about like 20 seconds, it'll then auto generate these images. Now, if I click on these images right here, you're gonna see this is image one, this is image two, image three and image four. And if you do like one of these images, you can either choose to create an upscaled version of it, or you can just make a different version of it. So right here, I'll say, you know what? I want to go ahead and upscale the second image, right? So we're going to upscale the second image. And then also you can make variations of the second image. So if you do see an image that you like and you want to make some sort of variation, you just got to click on uh, the V2, and then I'll create more variations. Now, if you've actually generated this and you don't like any of the images whatsoever, you can actually click on this little, I guess, uh, retry. And what that's gonna do is that it's going to automatically uh, generate all these images for you again. And here we'll go ahead and take a look at what we got. All right, so now you can see right here, we have different variations of the second image. And they give us these four to work with. They are pretty similar, but there is some small differences like with the branches and stuff like that. And below that, we now have a completely different um, variation, right? So basically, Mid Journey says we're gonna completely retry, and here are the different variations it gave us. And then below that, we have the upscaled image. 
So if you do like one of the images, you guys can actually upscale it and then it's like a full image and then you can save that onto your computer and pretty much use that anywhere you want. Now, before we go to the advanced section, like with prompts and scripts, you guys can also use adjectives to increase the productivity and style of your images. So for example, we have bonsai tree, right? But maybe I wanna add a gradient bonsai tree in the middle of the ocean. Well, we can do that. So I'll go over here and I'll type in the gradient, gradient bonsai tree, and then put in the middle of the ocean. So the adjectives themselves will actually help increase the actual image. It'll make it look a little bit more stunning and it'll add a lot more flavor to the image. So since we added a little bit more adjectives, you can see that the image got a little bit more stylish. If I click on the images, you'll see that we now have a bonsai tree that is gradient and it's also in the middle of the ocean. And you guys can keep doing this. You guys can basically add as many adjectives as you want to get as descriptive as you possibly can. So that's just a little quick rundown of how to use the AI bot. You can simply type in anything that you want, give it a command, and then it'll generate these images. But now let's talk about if you wanna start adding prompts and commands and make this a little bit more descriptive. And I'll also give you guys more ideas on how to make these images just look stunning. However, there are scripts, commands, and also some really creative uh, adjectives that you guys can use to make your images really stand out. So let's go ahead and cover some of those. So here are some basic commands that you guys can use to create some really stylish images. Now I'll go ahead and cover some of these. Personally, you're not gonna really use a lot of these. I maybe only use one or two and that's about it. But stylize is probably one of the most common ones. Stylize is basically trying to make it more, um, I guess they use the word opinionated, which basically means they're trying to make it more creative and designful, right? So the higher the stylized number is, the more they try to make it look more creative. However, I've noticed that if you add too much, it makes it a little bit too weird. And sometimes I feel like I might not even use it, but I'll give you guys an example of it in just a bit. Also, there's quality, there's chaos, and all these other commands. But uh, let's just give you guys examples of where you guys can use commands. Now, before we create another AI image, let me first explain the stylized command. The stylized command is probably one of the most common frequently asked questions of what does this do? Now, for version three, the stylized prompt goes from 600 to 60,000. However, in version four, I believe it caps at 1,000. So if you do wanna use the stylized command and add a really high number, we'll have to type in dash dash v3 and I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to our Discord. All right, so here I typed in a car that is going fast and 4K and I want it stylized at 1,000. So I'll go ahead and press enter. Now it's going to go ahead and generate this image for me. All right, great, so Mid Journey has created this image for us. So now let's go ahead and up the stylized command to see how far this takes us. And now we can jump this up to like, even like 30,000, right? Let's, let's do uh, 30,000 here. And then I'll go ahead and press an enter. And now let's take a look at the difference it gives us. All right, so there's our image and you guys can see it's somewhat inaccurate because the more stylized that you get, it tends to get very, very broad. So personally, I always use around maybe like 1000 with version four. Uh, going to version three and going to like 60,000, you tend to get pictures that are a little bit inaccurate to basically what you typed. So my personal advice, I would stick with the latest version and not use the version three stylized command. The main reason why is because you guys can use adjectives now to actually make your images look a little bit more creative instead of using the stylized command. So now let's go ahead and practice. Let me give you guys three images and show you how we created them. First up, we have a fast car with a teal tone, 80 style, realistic, 8K. You guys can actually use 90s, 80s, 70s to add more description to your image. Next up, we have a realistic photograph of the New York skyline in the year 2155. The AI bot will do its best to interpret how things will look in the future. So if you wanna see what parts of the world look like in the future, go ahead and give it a try. Next up, we have a robot in the ocean, plus ultra realistic, plus Lightroom, plus 8K, plus gradient, and stylize that at 1000. Next up, we typed in zombies that look like robots, but scary. Ultra realistic, 8K, stylized at 500. Here's another good example. We typed in a Marine holding a realistic sniper rifle, cartoon style, brown, gray, green hero picture, hooded jacket, beard, mountains, and stylized at 1000. You guys can add in animated or cartoons to make your images look like cartoon or animated. Now let's say you guys want images at specific shots. Here we typed in a photorealistic top-down view of a forest on a rainy summer day 
with focus on the center and blurry edges with old ruins around it. And this is me. You guys can load images of yourself or other people. Here I typed in make animated and cartoon style. We'll talk more about how to do this in just a bit. Next up, an asteroid coming to Earth. Make hyper-realistic 4K, a far away shot, semi-blur, and ray tracing. And just to show off, this is one we actually got extremely creative with. This is Silent Hill 2 monster that looks scary, natural lighting, optical fiber, moody lighting, cinematic lighting, studio lighting, soft lighting, red rim lights, cool color, grading 45%, optics, scattering glowing shadows, shimmering, ray tracing reflections, lumen reflections, screen face reflections. This is one image that's extremely detailed. Now these are camera descriptions. Did you guys know you guys can actually use the settings on specific cameras and models to interpret how your picture looks? I'll be making another video for this because this can get very detailed. However, I typed in a happy dog with a shutter speed of one in 500, the camera type F-2 shot on an 85 millimeter lens. Here's a list of some keywords you guys can use to make your images look a little bit more creative. Now, these specific keywords can have a drastic effect on your image. So for example, we have color ideas. With color ideas, you guys can use terms like multicolors, gradient threads, gradient even with specific tones. So if you want gradient with like red or blue, you can go ahead and add that in. You can also just put, you know, I want a red tone or green tone. And then you guys can also adjust the lighting. You know, for example, we have moody lighting, optophobic lighting, ambient lighting, broad lights, short lights, and you can add specific lighting in your image to make it look a little bit more accurate. And you guys can also add in very descriptive words like incandescent and volumetric. Uh, these words are used to add a little bit more tone to the image. For example, incandescent, this is usually adding a little bit more passion to the image. And then we have something like make animated or you can put or cartoonish, right? Like a cartoon, you know, animated cartoon or even like a clay figure or something like that. You can get as descriptive as you can possibly think of. Now, earlier I mentioned that the AI bot will actually recognize periods of the year. So if you want an 80s style, 90s style, you can go ahead and add that in the description, just like I showed you earlier with the cars. So for example, we have a fast car with multicolors, 80s style, realistic 8K. Let's take a look. The first one is a fast car with multiple colors. It's 80s style, realistic. So we added in multicolors to give the image just, you know, multiple colors. And then the next one, we did the same thing, but we just wanted the red tone. So we didn't really want to give it all of that colors. Now, the next one, you guys notice that we use 90s instead of 80s. And you guys can tell that uh, this is actually looking like a Toyota Supra from the 90s. Um, so you can see that the cars look a little bit more newer versus the older models. So adding in the time actually makes a huge difference. On All right, so we got the color ideas down. Now let's go ahead and talk more about details. So here are some detailed commands you guys can use. Now keep in mind, this Evernote is in the description of this video. So you guys can just go ahead and copy and paste all this if you want and just you know add it to your notepad or wherever it is that you want to add it. But uh, here we have hyper-realistic. You can add in 2K, 4K, or even 8K. Uh, future, or in the past, like we talked about. We have ultra detail, medium detail, or even low detail if you wanna you know, add that in. And then we have a wallpaper. Wallpaper just pretty much makes it look as if like you can add it like as a wallpaper or something where it has a little bit less detail in the back. You can also do 3D and 2D, right? So if you just want it 2D like that cartoon one we showed you guys earlier, you guys can add that in. Realistic and hyper-realistic. We have far away, close up, centered, right side, left side. Also what you guys can do is you guys can do selfie as well. So if you want like a picture where like someone's taking a selfie, just type in selfie. You know, there was one popular one on Reddit called uh, Jesus takes a selfie at the last supper. And it's Jesus with, you know, taking a selfie with all the disciples around him. So if you want that angle, you can just put, hey, uh, you know, take a selfie, right? Uh, here we have some other words, uh, some larger words that we talked about. We have blur, semi-blur, and so on and so forth. I did show you guys that asteroid picture where it has that asteroid where we wanted the, the blur around the tips of the image. So that's how you can accomplish that. And then we also have a little bit more detailed. Now you guys can go ahead and go through all of these and just you know add these in. Um, one here that was really interesting that I liked was the cyberpunk. Not sure if it's on here, but uh, oh yeah, there is cyberpunk. So if you guys ever played the game cyberpunk, it's like that futuristic punk gradient light style. Um, a lot of these are just basically 
um, keywords that were used from specific programs or even games as well. And here's an example. We typed in Terminator with a cyberpunk theme and it gave us this. So it does look like the Terminator, but it also added that cyberpunk style to the actual image. So you guys can use things like cyberpunk, ray tracing, or anything that you can possibly think of. All right, now the last part of this video is I wanna show you guys how to actually add in yourself to this or your dog or someone that you know. Now I've already made a few of these and this is what they look like. Here I put an image of myself and I added the keyword cartoon. Then I also added an image of my dog. And then from here, I want it a little bit more animated. So I typed in animated picture, and then it gave me this. So let me show you guys how to do that. The first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to upload the image to your Discord. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload an image of myself and also my dog. All right, great. So here's the image of myself, and then I also uploaded the image of my cute dog right here. Now, all you have to do here is you'll just go ahead and copy the link address. Once you copy the link address, you can then add in any details that you want, just like you did earlier with any of these images. So for example, I'll click on the image, I'll right click, and then I'll click on copy link. All right, now I'll type in imagine, and here we'll go ahead and paste that link first, right? And then we press space, and now you're gonna type in anything that you want. So we'll type in animated 8, 8K, futuristic. I have no idea what it's going to give me. So this is going to be a big surprise to me as well. <laughs> and here it is. We now have a picture of my dog uh, that looks animated and it's also futuristic. So you guys can pretty much upload any image you want and then add in any description or commands you want to make it as creative as possible. So let's go ahead now and upload a picture of myself and see how that looks. So I'm going to type in imagine and then we're going to go ahead and go with the image, right? But now we're gonna type in animated ninja from the 80s. I don't know, let's see what that looks like. Animated ninja from the 80s 2K. All right, let's take a look at what happens here. And there we go. We now have an animated image of myself and it looks it looks hilarious. <laughs> you know, we got a ninja from the 80s, you know, this is great. So everything that we talked about is in the description of this video, including all the Evernotes. You guys can use those prompts and also the adjectives to make your images look however you want them to look. I really hope this video helped you guys out. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.